Welcome back to Sweet Magnolia. We're your go-to guide for everything home decor and interior design. In today's episode, we're diving into the heart of the home, the dining room. And we're focusing on the top 10 dining room design mistakes you should absolutely avoid. If you're new here, we're thrilled to have you join our growing community. And here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Subscribing will keep you up to date with all our insightful episodes filled with design tips and inspiration. So, let's get started. When designing a dining room, there are several common mistakes that should be avoided to create a pleasant, functional, and aesthetically pleasing space. Here are some mistakes you should avoid. Choosing the right size rug. A rug can be a fantastic way to define your dining space, especially in open floor plans. It can also add a touch of warmth, texture, and color to your dining room. However, it's essential to select the right size. A rug that's too small can not only make the room look smaller but also create a logistical issue. When chairs are pulled out, they can get caught on the edge of the rug making it difficult for someone to sit down or stand up smoothly. As a rule of thumb, ensure that your rug is large enough to contain all the chairs, even when they're fully pulled out. This usually means that the rug should extend at least 24 to 36 inches beyond the edges of the table on all sides. Whether to include a rug or not is a personal choice. A room without a rug can still look great, providing a sleek, minimalist aesthetic. However, including a rug often gives the room a more inviting, cozy, and finished look. Remember, interior design is all about creating a space that you love and feel comfortable in. So, choose a rug that suits your style, complements your furniture, and fits the dimensions of your room. This guidance will help you choose the right rug for your dining room, enhancing the overall aesthetics and functionality of the space. Ignoring scale and proportion, scale and proportion are essential in any design. Avoid choosing a dining table or chairs that are too big or too small for the space. Also, the size of the furniture should be proportional to each other. Scale and proportion in your dining room furniture are pivotal in achieving a balanced and functional space. A table that's too large can make the room feel cramped, while a table that's too small may not meet your needs or utilize the space effectively. Let's look at how to decide the right size for your dining table. Measure your room, start by getting a clear understanding of your space. Measure the length, width, and even the ceiling height of your dining room. This will help you visualize the scale of furniture that will suit the room best. Allow for movement. Ensure there's enough space around your dining table. Ideally, leave at least 36 inches from the edge of your table to the nearest wall or furniture item. This space is necessary for chairs to be moved in and out comfortably. If your dining room also functions as a passage to another room, increase this clearance to 42 inches for easy traffic flow. The rule of 36 inches, why 36 inches? This is typically the minimum space needed to scoot a dining chair in and out from the table without feeling cramped. It also allows enough room for someone to walk behind a seated diner. Consider the number of diners, typically, each person will need about 24 inches of table width and 15 inches of depth to eat comfortably. If you're often hosting larger gatherings, consider a larger or an extendable table. Don't forget about the chairs, remember, your chairs should not only fit comfortably around the table, but also require sufficient room to be pulled out when someone is sitting or standing. This should be factored into your overall table size considerations. Selecting the right table shape, after measuring your dining room, it's crucial to decide on the shape of your dining table. This choice significantly influences both the aesthetics and functionality of your space. Rectangular or oval table for rectangular rooms. If your dining room is rectangular, a rectangular or oval table can be an excellent choice. These shapes mirror the room's proportions, creating harmony and visual balance. 
A longer table can further emphasize the room's length, contributing to a sense of spaciousness. Square or round table for square rooms. Conversely, if your dining room is square, a square or round table might be the perfect fit. These shapes can soften the room's angles and provide a counterbalance to the square dimensions of the space. Round tables, in particular, foster easy conversation, as everyone seated can interact without strain. It's generally best to avoid placing a rectangular table in a square room or a square table in a rectangular room, as this can skew the room's proportions and make the furniture arrangement appear unbalanced. These are guidelines, of course, and your personal style and practical needs should always guide your decision. The ideal dining table is one that harmonizes with your space, suits your lifestyle, and reflects your aesthetic taste. Choosing the right shape for your dining table can significantly enhance your dining experience and the overall perception of the room. By following these guidelines, you'll make a choice that elevates your space and avoids common design mistakes. Choosing the right lighting, the lighting in your dining room is more than just a functional element, it plays a vital role in setting the mood and enhancing the aesthetics of the space. The right choice of lighting can add warmth, create ambience, and highlight your dining table as the focal point of the room. Lighting for rectangular tables, if you have a rectangular table, linear or rectangular light fixtures often work best. These types of fixtures spread light evenly across the length of the table, complementing its shape and providing balanced illumination. Alternatively, two pendant lights arranged in a line above the table can achieve the same effect and can be a stylish option. For square or round tables, consider opting for square, round, or lantern-shaped fixtures. These shapes echo the proportions of the table and create a cohesive look. A single, well-proportioned pendant or chandelier can often provide sufficient light while serving as a stunning centerpiece. Remember, the size and scale of your light fixture should also be in harmony with your table and room size. A fixture that's too small might get lost, while one that's too large can overwhelm the space. Lighting is a crucial element in your dining room design. The right choice can dramatically enhance the ambience and overall dining experience in the room, helping you avoid common design mistakes. Choosing the right lighting for your dining room can significantly impact the overall aesthetics and mood of the space. These guidelines will help you make a choice that complements your dining table and elevates the design of the room. Choosing the right lighting height the height at which your light fixture hangs plays a crucial role in both the functionality and aesthetics of your dining room. The rule of thumb, a standard guideline is to have the bottom of the light fixture approximately 30 to 36 inches above the tabletop. This height provides optimal illumination without creating harsh, hot spots on the table. Flexibility in height, while 36 inches is the minimum recommended height, there is some flexibility. You might find that a slightly higher placement works better in your space. The best approach is to test out a few different heights. Hang the fixture, step back, and observe how the light interacts with the table and the room. This will give you a better idea of what looks and feels right to you. Too low or too high, be cautious of hanging your fixture too low, 
as it could obstruct views across the table and pose a risk for taller individuals. Conversely, a fixture hung too high may not sufficiently illuminate the table, resulting in a dim or shadowy dining area. It can also disrupt the visual balance in the room, making the ceiling appear disproportionately high. Compared to other rooms, in dining rooms, light fixtures are typically hung lower than in other spaces. This helps to create an intimate atmosphere and visually defines the dining area as a distinct space. The height of your lighting is a crucial aspect of your dining room's design. By taking the time to find the right height, you'll significantly enhance the ambience and functionality of your space, steering clear of common design mistakes. Layering your lighting, another common mistake in dining room design is not incorporating enough layers of lighting. Different occasions and activities require different types of lighting. General lighting. This is your main source of light and is essential for activities that need a well-lit space, like casual family dinners, homework sessions, or game nights. Soft, intimate lighting. On the other hand, softer, more intimate lighting is ideal for formal dinners or when you want to create a cozy, relaxed atmosphere. This can often be achieved with dimmable pendant lights or chandeliers, or by using table lamps or wall sconces. Dimmable lights. Placing all your lights on dimmers gives you complete control over the brightness and mood in the room. Whether you're hosting a lively holiday gathering or an intimate dinner for two, dimmers allow you to adjust the lighting to perfectly suit the occasion. Remember, the goal is to create a versatile lighting scheme that can adapt to different moods, activities, and times of the day. Layering your lighting is an effective way to achieve this and avoid common design mistakes. By considering these points, you can create a versatile and inviting dining room that can easily transition from a bright, functional space to a cozy, intimate setting, all with the adjustment of your lighting. Avoiding matchy-matchy dining sets, it's a common misconception that everything in your dining room has to match perfectly. In fact, excessively matching furniture can make a room feel out of date and lack personality. Mixing and matching your furniture adds character and depth to your space. If you already have a matching dining table set, consider replacing only the head chairs. This allows you to bring in a touch of variety without disrupting the overall harmony of the room. For instance, if you have a wooden dining set, you don't necessarily need to stick to matching wood tones. Consider upholstered chairs in a bold color, or neutral tones with rich textures. The goal is to introduce a bit of contrast that complements the room's style. Remember, there isn't much furniture in your dining room, so every piece should make a statement. Avoiding the matchy-matchy look and opting for a more eclectic mix can add visual interest and create a more inviting, personalized space. The key is to balance consistency and variety, ensuring your selections coordinate well together while still letting each piece shine. This approach will help you create a dining room with a sense of individuality and character, while still maintaining a cohesive aesthetic. Sacrificing comfort for style, while it's important for your dining room to look good, it's equally important for it to be comfortable. The dining room is a place where people gather for meals, engage in conversations, and create lasting memories. To facilitate this, you need chairs that are comfortable enough for long after-dinner chats. Testing the chairs. If you're shopping in-store, take the time to sit and test out the chairs. If you're purchasing online, check the return policy. It could be a good idea to order one chair initially to test out its comfort and quality before committing to the entire set. Style and comfort, remember, comfort doesn't have to come at the cost of style. There are plenty of modern and stylish chairs available in all budgets today that do not compromise on comfort. The key is to create a balance between style and comfort. 
By doing this, you ensure your dining room is not only visually appealing but also a welcoming and comfortable space for everyone. Avoiding the mistake of sacrificing comfort for style will make your dining room a much more enjoyable place to spend time. So, always keep in mind, comfort is just as important as style when it comes to your dining room furniture. Lack of a focal point, every room needs a focal point, an area or feature that instantly draws the eye and sets the tone for the rest of the space. One common design mistake in dining rooms is not having a clear focal point. Choosing your focal point, if your dining room has one predominant wall, this can naturally serve as your focal point. However, if there are several walls, you should choose the one that you first see when entering the room, or perhaps the longest wall in the room. These walls are typically the most noticeable and therefore make excellent candidates for your focal point. Creating your focal point, don't leave your chosen wall bare. You can create a focal point by adorning it with mirrors, a gallery of fine art, a statement artwork, wall sconces, texture or wallpaper. The goal is to get creative and make it a stunning backdrop for your dining furniture. Making it your own, remember, this is your space, so make your focal point reflect your personal style. It should be something that catches the eye, adds interest to the room, and truly makes the space your own. By ensuring your dining room has a clear focal point, you give the room a sense of structure and balance, while also adding a personal touch. With a well-thought-out focal point, your dining room will feel more cohesive and inviting, making it a space you and your guests will love to spend time in. Going overboard with formality, while a spectacular dining room can be a feast for the eyes, making it too formal can often lead to underutilization of the space. This is a common design mistake that could limit the value you get from your dining room. Your dining room should reflect your lifestyle and the way you live. If your home is more casual and lived in, a formal dining room might feel out of place and not get used as often as it could be. Similarly, if you prefer relaxed meals and informal gatherings, an overly formal dining room might not serve your needs. Rather than going for an extravagant, formal design, consider creating a space that's comfortable, welcoming, and fits with your daily life. This doesn't mean sacrificing style or elegance, it's about finding the right balance between formality and livability. Remember, your dining room is not just for show, it's meant to be used. By ensuring it aligns with your lifestyle and comfort level, you'll create a space where you and your guests feel at home, making it a much-loved part of your home. By avoiding an overly formal design, you can ensure that your dining room is a welcoming space that gets plenty of use and truly enhances your daily life. Overdressing the dining table. While a beautifully set table can add charm and elegance to your dining room, overdoing it can create a cluttered and overwhelming look. Simplicity is key, you might think a dramatic centerpiece, placemats, china settings, and other accessories are necessary for a stylish dining room. However, a simpler setup can be just as, if not more, appealing. Remember, your light fixture is usually the star of the room, and your table setting shouldn't compete with it. Height of centerpiece. Be mindful of the height of your centerpiece. If it's too tall, it can obstruct the view across the table, hindering conversation between your guests. Avoid clutter. Adding a few accessories, such as a vase or candles, can add personality to your dining room. However, too many elements can make your table look cluttered. Meaningful styling. Keep your table setting simple, meaningful, and tastefully styled. Choose pieces that add to the overall aesthetic of the room without overwhelming it. By avoiding the mistake of overdressing your dining table, you create a more relaxed and inviting atmosphere, perfect for enjoyable dining experiences. Remember, the goal is to create a welcoming, comfortable space that is also visually pleasing, and sometimes, less is more. Holding on to outdated pieces. It's a common mistake to hold on to a piece of furniture, 
like an expensive but outdated dining table, simply because of its cost or sentimental value, even if you don't love it anymore. However, retaining such pieces could obstruct you from designing your dream dining space. Embrace change. Your dining room is an extension of your personality and should be a space you love. If there's a piece of furniture that no longer fits your style or taste, it might be time to let it go and make room for something you truly adore. Inject your personality, the shape, style, and decor of your dining room present opportunities for creativity. These elements are chances to show off your aesthetics and make the space uniquely yours. Invest in what you love, even if a piece was expensive or has been in your family for years, if it doesn't bring you joy or fit with your vision for the space, it's okay to replace it. It's more important that you truly love every piece in your dining room. By letting go of the pieces you don't love, you create room for new furniture and decor that reflects your style and personality, bringing you closer to having your dream dining room. Remember, your dining room is a reflection of you, don't hold on to items that you don't love or that don't serve your vision for the space. Ignoring storage needs, a common mistake in dining room design is not accounting for storage needs. Essential items like table linens, china, and silverware need a designated place. Without adequate storage, your dining room can quickly become cluttered and less functional. Plan ahead for storage. When designing your dining room, ensure you consider where you'll store these items. Be it in a built-in cabinet, a freestanding hutch, or a sideboard, proper storage can make your dining room more organized and functional. Storage options. There are various storage options to fit your style and space. For instance, a buffet or sideboard is a classic choice that can offer plenty of storage and serve as an additional surface during meals. Built-in cabinets or shelves can help save floor space while providing ample room to store your items. An antique hutch can add character to your dining room while keeping your dishes and linens within easy reach. Use storage to add personality. Your choice of storage can also serve as an opportunity to add personality to the room. Choose pieces that complement the rest of your decor and reflect your personal style. Making the space comfortable and functional. Proper storage in the dining room makes the space more comfortable and functional. You'll be able to access your dining essentials easily, and the room will feel more organized and less cluttered. By planning for storage needs in your dining room design, you can keep your space tidy and make it easier to enjoy meals and entertain guests. Remember, a functional dining room is a comfortable dining room. By providing adequate storage, you can ensure everything has its place, making dining and entertaining a more enjoyable experience. And there you have it. By avoiding these common design mistakes, you can create a dining room that is not only functional, but also filled with personality, style, and comfort. Whether it's a casual dinner, a lively conversation, or a formal dining occasion, your dining room will now be ready for anything. It'll be a space that truly reflects your aesthetics and is perfect for creating lasting memories with family and friends. Remember, your dining room is more than just a place to eat. It's a social hub, a place for connection, and a reflection of your personal style. With the right design choices, it can become one of the most loved spaces in your home. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the key elements of dining room design. We hope you found these tips useful and are now inspired to create your dream dining room. If you're new here or haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Sweet Magnolia and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video in this series. Please also like this video and share it with your friends who might find it helpful. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. What changes will you make in your dining room? Have you made any of these design mistakes before? We're eager to hear your stories and answer any questions you might have. Until next time, happy designing and see you in our next video. Remember, 
In the world of interior design, there are no mistakes, only learning opportunities. Goodbye from all of us at Sweet Magnolia.